Hey, hi, how are you? You know what? Regardless of what health and safety activities are taking place, whether they be hazard identification, assessment and control, incident investigation, or worksite inspections, they all focus on workplace elements. Now, in a previous video, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a link. There's a link in the description, and you can have a look up here. I talked about people in the processes. Now, for this video, let's look at the environment. I mean the working environment, the environment where the work is taking place. What are the working conditions? Now, a good way to think about this is two. I'm sorry, sir, I don't follow. No, 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 not the number two. I mean, is it too hot, too cold, too dark, too bright, too noisy, too dusty, too, well, you get the picture. Now, say for instance, you're conducting an inspection in an office environment. What's the lighting like? Is it conducive to the work going on? One of the best ways to find out is to talk and interact with the workers. Simply ask them, how are things? In most cases, if it's too dimly lit, too hot, or too cold, or any of the other environmental factors, folks will tell you. The other thing you want to do is observe their body posture. Are they hunched over looking at their work? That could be a good indicator. Now, let's take it to another extreme note, okay? Let's say that you're working for a landscaping company as a safety professional. And a, a good example might be where I live. Through the course of the year, workers can be working at 30 below or 30 above. The working environment might mean that you have to educate workers in sun exposure, UV rays, and of course, the dangers of frostbite and other environmental hazards. So let's move to a different environment. Let's say that you're inspecting a cabinetry shop, which is typically a dusty and noisy environment. So you have to ask yourself, what's the indoor air quality like? Is it dusty? What about the lighting? Are workers able to see their work well enough to perform their tasks? Once again, look at their body posture. Look how they're moving and acting. And then again, there's the issue of noise. So you have to ask yourself, are workers using the PPE, the hearing protection, eye protection, respiratory protection? In short, there may be hazards in the working environment. The people working in the environment can also create hazards. And the existing hazards can also be exacerbated by the work. So it's important for you, or me, safety professionals, not only to consider the workers and their processes, but the hazards created by the work processes and also the interaction with the work environment and how that interaction can itself create hazards. Now, on that note, remember the dusty environment I talked about and how most cabinetry shops will actually have dust extraction arms and methods, which is an engineering control, and these will help with the dusty environment. Essentially, they're a piece of equipment. Now, come to think of it, that's the third workplace element, equipment and machinery. Now, you can check this video out up here on how equipment and machinery fit into the different safety activities and what the interaction's like. But until we see each other again, and I really hope we do, don't just think about safety, don't just talk about it. Be a leader, be an influencer, provoke safety. Okay, take care. Bye for now.